The process of cell division starts off with interphase, and the cell spends most of its life in interphase. There are three stages to interphase. Interphase starts off with G1, or the first growth stage of the cell, then S, or DNA synthesis, and finally the cell goes through G2, or the final growth stage, where the cell reaches its full growth. The blue and red yarn, which are in the nucleus of the cell, represent the DNA. The messy DNA in the nucleus is called chromatin. Next, the cell goes through prophase, a stage in which the DNA, which are chromatids, wind up to make chromosomes. The chromosomes make an X shape when they are supercoiled. It is necessary to have the DNA wound up because if the DNA wasn't organized, then some DNA could be lost in the process. In prometaphase, spindles begin to have spindle fibers emerge from them and reach towards the chromosomes. The spindles are the X's on the sides of the nucleus and the spindle fibers are the white strings. Metaphase is the third stage of cell division between prometaphase and anaphase, during which the chromosomes become attached to the spindle fibers. The nuclear envelope disappears before the cell divides because when the chromosomes are being pulled apart in the next stage, the process needs the whole cell space. Anaphase is the fourth stage in which the chromosomes move away from one another to opposite poles of the spindle. The purpose of the spindles and spindle fibers is to pull apart the chromosomes into chromatids. Telophase is a sixth stage. Since the chromatids have separated because of spindle fibers, a nucleus begins to form around the chromatids to protect the DNA. The cells have the same DNA because the cells do not mix with another cell's DNA. Cytokinesis. The nucleus forms to complete new cells to allow the chromatids to unwind back into the DNA. When the DNA is fully unwound, the cell can begin making proteins.